Hi, welcome. Today's lesson is on metallic bonding and how the bonding affects metal's ability to conduct, its malleability, and its high melting point. I have found some nice animations online that illustrate this better than I can personally draw it. And the first one is found at this website up here, drkstreet.com resources. And so here's metallic bonding. So what we have here, the positive signs represent the nucleus of the metal atoms, and the blue dots represent the electrons. And let's play this animation and watch what happens. So notice the electrons, because the atoms do not hold very tightly to their own electrons, are moving in between all of the atoms, like a sea of electrons. And this is called metallic bonding. And notice the electrons are moving back and forth any direction. But if I apply a potential difference across them, I can get the electrons to go in one direction, and that is what an electric current is. So metallic bonding has, let's play that again, has free moving electrons going around the nuclei. They're not held tightly, so there are a sea of electrons moving around. And the nuclei being attracted to these electrons is the bond. They are moving any direction, back, forth, up, and down. But if I attach them to something with a potential difference, I can get the electrons to flow in one direction because they're already moving, and that creates an electric current. So what do I need to have conductivity? I need moving charges. And here, the moving charges, or let's play that again, were the moving electrons. So because they're already moving, they can conduct electricity. This is also a very strong attraction. This positive center nuclei for all of these moving electrons is a very strong attraction, which means that it also has a high melting point. So what about malleability? I found another animation at this site, cd1.edb.hk edcity.net found it here and it has another animation about malleability so let's look at it here are our atoms with the free moving electrons oh my goodness somebody hit it with a hammer why did it not break because the electrons were moving and when the atoms move the electrons can move with them so they're still bonded together so let's try that again here they're free moving I hit it with a hammer, and it doesn't break apart because the electrons can move with the atoms and still keep the bond going. So the moving bonds make the atoms able to move, and that's why it's malleable. So there you have it. The bonding of the metals make them conduct electricity, make them malleable, and also make them have a high melting point. Thanks for listening.